I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the water cycle. And the most important word on that title is the word cycle. Okay, we're going to start over here on the left, right about here, and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to zigzag, zigzag, zigzag all the way around the edge. And this is now going to represent the sun. Now I draw a slightly curved line with a triangle. And I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line. Curve line curve line, curve line, and now curve line up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. This section is going to be condensation. Condensation. Now each one of these stops is important because of the vocabulary word. We'll go over that in a minute. Now I draw another curved line and a triangle <clears throat> and I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. And now I'm going to go zigzag, zigzag and mimic that line, zigzag, zigzag, connect. One more if you have room, zigzag, zigzag zigzag, zigzag, connect. And right here I'm going to do my little curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. And this part is precipitation. You can look these all up for the meanings or you can follow along with me as I try to explain it. Precipitation, again we draw straight line, triangle, and over here on the left going towards the right we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and then underneath there's our Curve line down, up, connect, 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 and this is the collection. We'll go through these all in just a minute. Collection. And now we draw a straight line up with a triangle. And we write the word evaporation. Evaporation. And finally, straight line up, triangle. And now we're going to draw our little drips. So it's curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. Now, because it is the water cycle, this is why we're using our drips and uh, clouds and all of the water components of the whole cycle. But it is a cycle, so you're going to go around. Okay, we're going to color this in. Let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, super easy because this is basically a chart. And when you make a chart, you don't want to emphasize really the coloring. You want to keep it simple so that you can read your chart and know what you're talking about. So the sun, we're going to do yellow. Our little drops, we're always going to do the same color blue. Okay. And our clouds, we're going to leave those white. We're going to come down 
and use my yellow again for my lightning. Okay, come back down here on my collection. These are all blue. And the thing is about when you do a chart, you're not really drawing everything the way it is. You're just giving the basics. So you can find a more intense drawing than this one, but this gives you basically what you need to know. And most importantly, the vocabulary. So you know what you're talking about. And, whoops, I forgot my raindrops over here. The other thing is, is that those arrows are really, really important, your triangle heads. So I'm going to make those red because they show you the way the cycle moves. You know, and you got to follow the cycle in order to understand the water cycle. Okay? All right. So that's that. All right. Now, for ex for an explanation. Down here with evaporation is really step 1. And this is the evaporating of the water from the surface of the earth by the sun. Then, following your arrows, you get to condensation. And that is when the water vapor cools and condenses. Then you come down to precipitation, and that is rain and snow in the clouds that falls back to the surface of the earth. And then the collection are the mountains, streams, and rivers, and oceans, and all of the water bodies that collect the whole water cycle. Okay, so it all goes around. Let's see what mine looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my water cycle all colored in, and it looks pretty much like the other one, which is good because it's a, it's a labeling process. So uh, learn your vocabulary and follow the arrows. Okay, bye-bye.